Everyone has heard of perplexity, but not everyone knows how to use it. So in this video, I'm going to show you how and why I actually use it more than Google right now. Let's crack on. So what is perplexity? Uh, perplexity is an AI powered answer engine. So not a search engine, an answer engine. And its unique value proposition in my view is that it provides the most accurate answers out of all the chatbots. And by answer engine, I mean, you ask it a question and it will give you a direct answer, right? And it will quote the different sources and references it's got its information from. It just doesn't make up stuff. So all its answers are grounded in information that's sitting in the internet, the interweb, um, and that makes it super, super powerful. So you know what you're getting back is actually grounded on some kind of fact that's in the internet, <laughs> all right? And the cherry on top, it has crazy good UI. Um, it's very intuitive and it's very user-friendly. And I'll show you what I mean. So what you're looking at right here on the screen is perplexity. This is the, the home. If you click on the home tab, this is what you'll land on. Um, let me show, let's start by just actually typing a quick question. I'll type this question in perplexity, then I'll type it into Google and you'll see very clearly um, the power and perplexity around its UI and how it comes back with answers. What are the main marathons in Australia? Okay, let me just copy and paste that. Awesome. And how quick was that? So you can see I've asked it a question and it's just given me the answer, AKA it's an answer engine. <laughs> it's not a search engine, it's an answer engine. So it's, it's told me the six, it's told me the six um, different marathons in Australia. And up here, it's, it's referenced all the different sources. It's got this information and it's just summarized it for me. Now let's actually type that in Google, all right? My marathons in Australia. And you can see it's come back. It's just, I haven't given me the answer. I'm gonna to need to click into all these different websites, read them, gloss through these different websites here, and then kind of come up with my own summarized answer. Whereas in a handful of seconds, I've got a real concise answer. I can see the different sources it's coming from. Um, really powerful. And this is why essentially I use it more than Google right now. Um, and so the T TLDR is essentially using perplexity, at least one less click for every question you have that you're looking for an answer. And potentially even a lot more clicks, right? Because when you do a Google search, you usually look at a few different sources and then you come to some kind of conclusion. Perplexity gives you that conclusion in one direct answer, AKA it's an answer engine, okay? So what else can it do? Let me just go back to the home and start a new, <coughs> a new question or ask. So it's got a few different features. Um, you can get it to search sources, like be specific around the source, source you want it to search, right? So here, right now in that search, I essentially said go and search the whole web, go and look at different academic papers, which is not really relevant, but go and look at YouTube, um, go and look at Reddit, go and go out to all these different sources and find an answer for me using these sources. But say I, I'm doing academic research, I'm a student, um, and I just want it to get, come back with academic results. I can go search and publish academic papers, right? Um, so let me go and ask another question then. So Let's say, ask a question that you'd probably want your answer grounded in research. Should women avoid drinking alcohol when trying to get pregnant? Okay. Once again, look how quick that was, super quick. And look how it's given me a direct answer. So the World Health Organization recommends that pregnant women should avoid alcohol consumption as it can result in adverse health effects on the fetus, such as miscarriage, low birth weight, and stillborn. Quoting the sources come from, so that's obviously come from there, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. I'm not going to read through this whole answer, uh, but you can see it's just giving me a direct answer. And then I could click in, and if I want to double check and make sure it's summarizing it properly, I can click in, and I can see this is linking me off to the National Library of Medicine. Here it is, etc. Super powerful, all right? So <clears throat> I could ask follow-up questions. What I really love about perplexity is the follow-up questions where it's like, what are some related questions you can ask? So what are the risks of drinking alcohol during pregnancy? How does alcohol affect fetal development? 
what are some alternatives to drinking alcohol during pregnancy? They're all logical follow-up questions, okay? So, super powerful. That is the focus feature. Um, let me toggle back of that back to all, but this is really powerful. Love toggling between that and playing around with this. You can attach different images. I won't do that right now. And to give it a bit more context when you're asking questions, what is a really powerful feature that they have is Copilot. Um, so I'll show you what that looks like. So Copilot is like an interactive search answer functionality that leverages GPT to provide like an interactive um, dialogue experience with perplexity, essentially. So with Quick Search, you search your quick search or quick question, you ask Sonny, he'll give you a direct answer. With Copilot, it will go that step further where it will ask for additional details, or will ask to consider your different preferences, and then it will deliver pinpoint results and um, answers to your question, right? So essentially, you'll have a dialogue um, back and forth with Copilot when you have it toggled on. Just that will help you ask the right things and provide the right information to get the right response. So let me show you what a Copilot um, looks like. When is the best time to? When is the when is the, when is the best time to organise a hike of the Blue Mountains in Australia? All right, so I've asked the question. Now I've got Copilot turned on, and as part of the free subscription, I think you get five, and then it reloads every four hours, I guess. Um, if you have a paid subscription, um, you get a little bit more. But this is great for more in-depth questions, Then this is really powerful if you're doing some ac academic searching and whatnot. All right, awesome. So when is the best time to organise a hike of the Blue Mountains in Australia? So these asks, what is your preferred season for hiking? So that's asking me around my preference, right? Let's just go summer. Can you see how it's actually asked me a clarifying preference or ask for a bit more information to help provide a bit more of a tailored answer. So if I ask a bit more of an elaborate question, it can come back with a variety of different questions for me that I'll then answer that will then help me generate a more powerful answer um, and more, uh, you know, high quality answer, right? So that's Copilot. Um, I've just asked a real basic, just asked a real basic question just to show you that it will ask you questions to clarify, uh, give you extra details, etc., to make sure you get a better result. Super powerful functionality uh got some other cool stuff in uh perplexity that i'll you can use so collections is up uh, let me just quickly go back up here so collections is a great way to like uh capture you can think of collections as a folder so you can collate different threads together so um in here I've clicked into my Twitter content creation. When is the best time? And you can store. So this this thread here is not really relevant, right? But let me just quickly come back in. Let's ask another question. Um, what is the best time to post on Twitter? Okay. Let me turn off Copilot for this. I just wanted to come back with a direct answer. It's giving me some time, it's giving me some, here's some different sources. And then I can name this uh, posting time. And then I can put it in a collection, which a collection, like I said, you should think about that as a folder. So it's like Twitter threads. And while, when you're creating a collection, you can give it an icon, you can describe it, Twitter. Let's just go Twitter. Um, thread, Twitter insights. And you can give it a prompt. Uh, so I could say like, um, give instructions to the AI that affect every thread in this collection. So this is kind of like um, the custom uh, instructions in ChatGPT where I can say something like, I am an AI content creator on Twitter uh, for all threads, for all threads, in this um in this collection uh please assume that i am optimizing for creating viral content okay so that's just a bit of context a bit of a prompt that will go in um 
when I write. So I'll create that right now. Right. Twitter Insights. Sorry, da, 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 da. Let me get out of that right now. Come back here. Posting times. Adapt that thread. This is the collection. The If I had more than a few other threads under it, they'll all be sitting under here. So this is essentially the folder. And then I can ask more additional questions. Um, what, what is a good content schedule for a week? All right. Now it's posting frequency content schedule. This is another thread. Now let me quickly go back into here. So you can see I've created like a folder <laughs> collection, Twitter insights, and then I've got different threads. So I can go and look at this answer, which is around um, the content schedule, then posting time, All right? I think you get the idea, really powerful way to kind of collect um, different threads together. And then what's awesome about it is then you can share it, right? You can share it with people in your team you can share it with you know you want to put it online onto your twitter feed or onto your social media feed you can actually share this content so that's actually super super powerful and then the last thing i will show you guys today um it's just discovery i've actually just got into quite a bit of a habit of just kind of going through the different um essentially like different pieces of news that are coming out <coughs> And so it's a Vision Pro hands-on review. You can come in here. It's just a really interesting way I've been getting a bit of tech news um, of late. Actually, last thing I'll just show you. This is all on the free license. So I'm using this on the free license right now. Super, super powerful. Just as a free license. I don't pay for it. But if you're, um, you know, writing, doing academic research, um, creating a lot of content, doing a lot of research online, um, probably worth actually getting a perplexity pro plan um, you get unlimited copilot queries so if you've got a lot of detailed research you're doing super powerful um, you get to be able to like swap in swap out the different models um, and then the file upload upload documents images are more supported so um, i actually think this is very well priced um, actually quite the bargain uh, the pro plan so i might just stop there as you can see Perplexity is a super powerful tool. I use it way more than Google at the moment. And I think if you give it a try, you may end up <laughs> doing the same. Anyway, let me know what you think. Until next time, have a good day and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.